Hi! Today we will learn how to find the area under the curve and how to estimate area by using trapezoidal rule. Here is our question and we already know how to write definite integral that represents this area. Let's define the curve on the graph screen. If you press menu, analyze, then integral, you can define your lower bound and upper bound. Upper bound is 2 and our area is 8.39. We can also calculate this on the calculator screen. Press the symbol button, then integral from 0 to 2. We already define our function as f1, so I can just recall it from here. And here's the value. The second part is especially for application students. Let's remember the formula from the formula booklet. Lower value on the question is 0, that's a, and b is 2. So height of the trapezoid will be 2 minus 0 divided by 5, which is 0 0.4. So y0 will be f0, yn will be f2, and all the other y's will increase by 0 0.4. 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0 1.2, and 1.6. So let's write the formula. height over 2 first base is f of 0 last base is f of 2 and all of the others will be doubled we will be writing all of these on the calculator later Height is 0 0.4 divided by 2 times. I open a bracket. Please pay extra attention for the brackets. Our function is defined as f1. So I will start with f, f1 of 0 plus f1 of 2. And all the others will be doubled. So I open another bracket and I'll be writing them here. f1 of 0 0.4 f1 of 0 0.8 and the last one is f1 of 1.6 when you press enter you'll see the result since we already calculated the actual area so we can easily compare it should be close on your test paper you will be expected to provide y values too so let's calculate those by using our calculators. On the graph page, I will press Ctrl T. These values starts from 1 and increases by 1. If you press menu, then table, then go to table settings, you can decide where to start and you can decide your table step. For our case, it will be height 0.4. When you press enter, you will see all the values that you are supposed to write them on the test paper. You just make a table, put these values, then write everything as you type on your calculator, put the results, that's it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. My students are also asking for non-calculated questions, stay tuned.